Hi, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hope you're doing well, Capricorn. Sorry, I couldn't remember what sign I was doing today. I was just like, um, I don't know. Ah! Alright, so I have my Rider Waite, and that's the deck I'm going to start with. Alright, what do we got for Capricorn? I got my light, so that way you guys put these waters in the ground. I got my light, so that way you guys can see the cards. All right, what do we got for Capricorn? Reading for Capricorn now. What does Capricorn need to know about their love life, please? Pretty enough, Capricorn. All right, one second. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Okay. Eight cards for Capricorn, please. Eight cards for Capricorn. Justice. We got Libra energy coming up. Getting what you deserve. Ooh, we got three of pentacles. Okay, so we have some third party energy coming in in your love life. Huh. Nine of Cups. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I said eight, right? All right. Four more, Spirit. Whoa. Should we take that one? We'll put it aside as a side energy because it sort of got stuck coming on the way out. Huh. It's six of cups though. So wanting something from the past, feeling nostalgic and yearning for something from the past. Whoa, what the freaking hell? I'm trying to not cuss as much. Okay. And so we literally got... You went from like happily ever after to I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry. Ten swords in your damn back. What the frick happened? <clears throat> My makeup is really light in this new lighting. I'm going to have to put more blusher on. <laughs> With these new bright lights. It's like totally washes me out, guys. Okay, we need three more, please. But that's okay. It's not about me. It's about the messages anyways. Okay, wow, is we got two tens in a row, ten of swords and ten of wands. But these are the two cards of like, okay, so in one of them you're literally dead, exhausted. <clears throat> the other one is like this card of like feeling so overburdened. What is going on? One more for Capricorn, please. Okay, I don't understand. Wow, okay, okay, okay. This energy is very confusing, so just give me a second to sort of try to figure out what Spirit is trying to say. Okay. <clears throat> so after an extremely long time of going at it alone and feeling absolutely fucking exhausted and spent... There is an energy of something growing and I don't know how soon it's going to come in, but the Empress card shows me that this is like a really fertile growing period in your life and something is growing and flourishing and it, when it comes in, let me tell you, it's going to be your absolute dream come true. We got two cards. First of all, there's a lot of damn ten, tens here. Can I say that? We got 10, 10, 10, back to back. That is going to be significant for someone because we have the 10 of pentacles, which is literally like, um, hap it's happily ever after. It's money. It's love. It's 
creating a literal family legacy with someone. So basically a bond with someone you have that's so strong that it's enough that you guys can raise your children, both of your children, if you have them. You know, like if you have children, this person has children, you guys are going to unite and create an extended family and it's going to be a happy family. Okay. Um, but it's also getting everything that you guys desire, money, happiness, um, all of these good things that sort of go hand in hand with abundance, right? <clears throat> um, but it's really strange because we got that 10 and then this came out right afterwards, which is 10 of swords. This feeling of, of being basically at rock bottom, feeling like I cannot go on anymore. I cannot do this. I am literally dead, dead, like dead with exhaustion, just dead, right? And then this came out right next to that one. So we got 10, 10, 10, okay? And this is very strange synchronicity for me because my friend, my friend, my cousin sent me something earlier and it was literally a video and it said 10, 10, 10. So has some significance for me as well. And also um, 10, 10 has significance for her as her mother passed away recently and that number was special to them. Um, but this card here talks about just being super, can you guys see that? Oh, that light is really bright, but there you go. Okay, so this energy of being super overburdened, see, we got two cards. So it's this energy of feeling like you're just doing too much alone, okay? So I feel like you've been holding on to this burden and sort of doing things on your own for a really, really long time. But we have this energy of things starting to shift in your favor. We got the Nine of Cups right here, which is, we know it's complete, say, say, okay, I'm going to screw this up, Spirit. Give it to me. Say, say. Complete satisfaction, okay? We'll just say complete satisfaction. The word for it is like satiation or something like that. That's what they're giving me, but I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, but it basically means the same thing as satisfaction, okay? We have a man here. He's standing here. His arms are crossed. He's got nine glasses of wine behind him. He's like satisfied, okay? You can see the look of satisfaction on his face. I mean, look at his face. He's just like... Yes, I got everything I wanted. Okay, so I feel like for a while you've been in this energy of when am I going to get what I deserve? I'm this very, I'm a, I'm a really good person. I've been putting in so much love and so much time and effort into myself, into, you know, whatever, like healing and, but yet you haven't really gotten what you deserved. Okay. For some of you, there could be a Libra in your vicinity too because just justice obviously is Libra and just the scales. But there's also this energy of third party energy. So for some of you, you were in a relationship with someone, they treated you wrong, they cheated on you, they were dishonest, they were manipulative. Um, and now this is past energy, okay? Um... Or, I mean, for some of you, it could be recent, like you were with someone or you met someone and then all of a sudden, like it didn't work out and you found out they were dishonest or they were still married or um, they, they were in a relationship with someone. And so, and it, but I felt like they were trying to sort of string you along. And that's where this energy came in of like, I deserve better, right? That's where this justice energy comes in of like, I know this is not what I deserve, Okay, at times you felt really stuck in the past, like almost like you really wanted to go back to a simpler time. Some of you were even yearning to get this relationship back, even though there was this energy of like, you know, third party energy means like too many people being involved in a relationship. So for instance, you're involved with someone, they're involved with someone else. Okay, so that's third party energy. Or, you know, they're still attached somehow to another person. They're just going through a divorce or whatever. Either way, there's another person's energy field in this person that you thought was your person's energy field, okay? So it sort of left you out in the cold. But with the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, 
the Empress and the Ace of Cups <clears throat> all came out. So there's this period of feeling like you're, you've been alone for too long. You've been dead for too long. And for some of you, it's literally feeling dead. It's like this feeling of being numbed out to love, to feelings, to emotions. And now all of a sudden, it's like your body's waking up. Your soul's waking up. Your passion's waking up. You're starting to feel things. You're starting to feel passion. You're starting to feel longing. You're starting to feel yearning. Okay, and all of this is just waking up. It's just blossoming. The Empress is showing me those are these feelings that are just starting to blossom up like a flower. Okay, and it's because this is coming in. This is a new relationship. It's Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> We're going to pull some Romance Angels on this. Phenomenal start, Capricorn. Okay, what do we got for Capricorn? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to do the clearest channel for source messages. That was a phenomenal read already. All right, what else do we got for Capricorn? Beautiful. All right, what else do we got? Can we get three cards for Capricorn, please? Three cards for Capricorn, please. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for some of you, this is, you know, mother, daddy issues. And healing that part of yourself, that aspect of your life has already changed you so significantly. Okay, we have, there's a hair somewhere, I can feel it. I always seem to shed when I'm doing readings. <laughs> Okay, so we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Now, don't freak out about this because this only means that, see, here's the thing. I don't, I honestly do not believe that spirit is going to give you someone that you're going to be not attracted to. What is going on with my glasses? They're like crooked and I can't see. Can you see me? I, just, I couldn't see for a second. It's weird. Okay. So I honestly don't think that spirit would give you someone that you're not attracted to. I don't believe that spirit is going to give you someone that doesn't ignite your freaking loins on fire. Okay. I definitely do not think that. So, but this would be an example for someone like this is someone who would not be your usual type. So for instance, you really like blondes. Your person's going to be a brunette. <laughs> You'll be super attracted to them. But, you know, it's just, they're just going to be different than your normal attraction, okay? And that's how it's supposed to be. It's because spirit's trying to expand your horizons, okay? Um, so, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, we got this one, the healing family issues, right? Um, we have keep an open mind. Spirit wants you to keep an open mind. Look at that. Very Bridgerton vibes, vibes there. I've been so addicted to that show lately watching it. Another reader that I watch watches it, Bridgerton. And um, I, I'm obsessed. Okay. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it on my story. I added some stuff there from Bridgerton <laughs> on my stories. Okay. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, for some of you, this could be like literal like um, someone from your past. But, I mean, be weary if it's an ex. You know, they're, they're called exes for a reason. We ex them out of our life because their energy is not needed, right? So, I mean, there's a reason that you ex them out. Um, but it feels like this is a deep soul connection with someone that you've had for a while. And so when you guys meet, your souls will know each other. Okay. So, good. Um, we're going to do... Let's see what else should we do? Let's do the Bodhi Tarot. This deck. Okay. I'm gonna figure out how to shuffle these. Alright, what do we got for Capricorn, please? Capricorn. Ah! Capricorn. <laughs> Hard time. There we go. Hmm. Alright, what do we got for Capricorn, please? Oh no, that's just way too many cards, Spirit. We ain't taking all those. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby, we're not doing it. Ah, I love you guys, though. 
All right, so we have you are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. You are abundant in all areas of your life because the love is influencing your decisions. The better be, love is the driving force and it should be the driving force for all of us, okay? We have rekindling energy. Is someone coming back into your life? Don't forget the lessons they taught you. Again, we have reconciliation from someone from your past. So maybe, I don't know, maybe someone else is coming back. It says rekindling energy. Is someone coming back into your life? Don't forget the lessons they taught you. Okay, so it feels, I mean, spirit keeps saying rekindle, rekindling means like someone from your past, you're starting to get feelings for them again. So, but be mindful of the fact that they taught you lessons before and usually lessons can be painful. So be careful not to repeat the same lessons, Capricorn. Okay, let's see. You don't want to do that. So use your intuition to decipher if, you know, if this is a good move when this person comes back into your life, okay? Let's see. One more card. A soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned important lessons. You will now attract healthy relationships into your life. A soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned lessons you've learned important lessons you will now attract healthy relationships into your life it's backwards in the camera <laughs> but anyways you know what the you know you're getting the main gist of it wow so you've literally you fulfilled some soul contracts capricorn so perfect I needed a water break. So, I don't know what's going on or what energy's been in the air lately, but I have been waking up every day to like 123 friend requests on Facebook. And I'm really frustrated with it. And I'm really about ready to honestly just like deactivate my Facebook account. Um, I've been having to just like I literally, and this is not exaggeration, guys. I'm not trying, this is not, e this is not an ego thing. Um, but I've literally blocked, like, I block, like, up to 20 to 30 people a day just because, you know, it's, and it's all men just, like, flooding my inbox. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, and I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. Like, I want to just deactivate my Facebook account and... Um, like get rid of messenger. Um, and I know that a lot of, I know a lot of people that have like YouTube channels do that because after a while it just becomes completely overwhelming. So, um, I'm not quite sure. Like, yeah, like my son is like, no, don't do that because he just installed kids messenger. And so he's been messaging me like funny videos and stuff, which I really enjoy. And I want to keep it because of that. But, you know, it's just, I mean, Having to block that many people a day, I feel like I'm always like on my phone just like because they're just constantly popping up the little bubbles, the little messenger, messenger, messenger. Like my phone is constantly just bing, bing, bing like all day and it's so annoying. And, and you know, it, it just I don't understand why anyone in the world would ever message someone that they don't know just randomly. Like who does that? It's so weird. And like men especially, they're just like, hi, beautiful. Like, hi, 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 hi. I mean, all day. And it's like. Wow, it's really, really overwhelming. And I don't know. I don't know why I told you guys that. It's just really annoying. And I just, I don't know what to do about it at this point. Okay. Um, we're going to go on to this, your spirit messages. And then your, um, for you singles, we're going to do the, uh, I forgot what it's called, Who Oracle. And that way, you know, for those of you that are dealing with someone or are wanting to see someone, you know what character traits to look out for. Okay, what are the spirit messages you have for Capricorn, please? Tell me the spirit messages for Capricorn. I don't know. I don't know why I told you guys that other than maybe just, 
you know, to just get it out and like maybe feel better if you guys are going through the same thing or whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's so frustrating. And I'm not used to it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, so we have loving. So take that as it resonates. Either you are starting to feel more loving, Capricorn, or your person is starting to feel more loving. Or your person that you're drawing in is loving. Okay. Oh, goodness. We have tiger. So we either have tiger as a spirit animal or that is a symbol of your person. Maybe that's their spirit animal. Okay. We have Gemini. We have the answer is no. Two more, please. We have fate. So Gemini will play an important part in your life in this recent times. Okay. So first card we had was loving. Second card was tiger. We have Gemini. Okay. We have the answer is no. So if you had a question you were mulling over in your mind, spirit saying the answer is no. <laughs> Straight up, it's no. And then we have fate. Something faded is happening right now. And then we have mysterious. Ooh, mysterious. So some of you are destined and fated to meet someone who's mysterious, loving, possibly a Gemini. Um, maybe they're the Chinese tiger or they have the water tiger somewhere in their sign. Or that's just their demeanor. Maybe they're like a tigress. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Well, there you go. All right. Let's do the who oracle and then we're going to wrap it up for you, my beautiful Capricorn. All right. Can we get four cards for these character traits from beautiful Capricorns, please? And then we're going to wrap it up spirit. 2205. Four cards for Capricorn, please. Four cards for Capricorn. All right, four cards. Four cards, please. All right, we have sports and fitness. So your person is sporty, or they're into fitness. Fair complexion. Wow, so for some of you, very, very, very pale skin, okay? These are for the single cappies or for the cappies that are Involved with someone right now and you want to make sure that it's, you know, the one that spirits of the universe has planned for you. Okay, this makes no sense. <laughs> Last card. Okay, so we have sports and fitness. We have fair complexion. And then what came out immediately afterwards is dark complexion. Or immediately after. So, in some ways, it's not even making sense. We have fair complexion, dark complexion. So, I mean, possibly this could be you. You have darker complexion or you have a fair complexion or vice versa and your person has a darker complexion. Take it out, it resonates. Okay. And then we also have 20s. So, for some of you, um, your person is going to be in their 20s. Very nice. Okay. I guess that's it. We're going to wrap this up. If you want to book a reading with me, Capricorn, all of my prices are in the description box below. Um, please like the video because then it really helps me and lets YouTube know that you guys like my content and they will recommend it to other people. It's one way that you can help me out for free. Um, I appreciate all of you who are on my Patreon. I can't say it enough. Um, like I, I always tell you guys, this is my only job. This is how I support myself and how I support my children. So I appreciate all your tips and your donations, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, everything. You guys really help to grow my channel and I'm almost at 400 subscribers. I'm so excited you guys. You guys did all of this. Um, if you feel so guided to tip me, then I have two ways you can do that. Those are also in the description box below. There's like a little arrow. And if you click that little arrow, then all of my description box, my prices and everything pops up. Okay, I love you, Capricorn. Check out my son's channel too. He works really hard and he's a great little guy. Um, he's the only featured channel on, on my um, featured channels. Okay, bye.